Hello everyone, my name is Lars Muljo. I am part of the Drum Gizmo development team and today I will be demonstrating or talking a little bit about the concept, concept of velocity groups. Um, I will be demonstrating the current implementation of velocity groups and I will also show you the experimental version that we are working on at the moment. So let me start out by drawing some stuff on the screen for you. Okay. Zero. What we have here is a graph with MIDI velocity and hit energy. Yeah. So some of you might know that MIDI velocity is always a value or always has a value of uh, 0 to 127 and when we measure the hit energy of a drum stroke we uh, measure it from 0 to 1 so uh, a hit with uh, hit energy of 1 is the hardest hit we can get or we have in our sample library let me just draw this as well okay so whenever we have a hit at a certain media velocity for instance let's say we have 50 around here we have a corresponding hit that should be played at the corresponding hit level um, this is all well and good let me just plot in some these are samples, actual wave samples recorded from a drum recording session. Let's say that this is the snare drum. So we have a huge number of samples. And what we would like to do is we need to have some sort of randomization. Whenever we get a hit at 50 media velocity, we would like it to not play the exact same sample every time we get this velocity. So how we do that is with velocity groups. So let me just show you how it works at the moment. So yeah, something like this. Okay, so we have these groups spanning from, uh, in this case, like 0 to, what's that, 30 or something. And then from 30 to about 60. So, so whenever we get a hit within this group from 30 to 60, we choose from the samples that are placed in this span. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hits to choose from. And these are played randomized so it will give us a bit of humanization feel to it the problem with this is that at the moment these groups are fixed so uh, the borders of the groups don't move so if we have let's say a hit at 40 media velocity it will still choose from the exact same group of hits from hits this of course gives us quite a bit of a problem when we have like a midi sweep that goes from 0 to 127 so if we have a lot of snare drum hits uh, just right at one after the other uh, going from 0 to 127 it will give us a bit of a you know sound like we're walking upstairs because the groups will become very apparent. So we have a lot of hits going from 0 to uh, 30 in this case, and they will all choose from this group. And then when we reach 30, 31 actually, or something like that, it will ch start choosing from group number two. So um, it will sound 
yeah, like walking upstairs, it is very apparent that uh, whenever we reach a new group, it starts choosing from a uh, new uh, pool of samples. So this is the old way of doing things. Let me just play a small sample for you so you can hear how it sounds right now. Okay, so I hope you uh, could hear the walking upstairs effect that I mentioned before. We would like to get rid of that. So what we have done in a, an experimental version of Drum Gizmo is that we have transformed the fixed velocity groups to floating velocity groups. So let me just demonstrate what I mean by that. We have the exact same thing here hit energy and midi velocity okay so the exact same scenario we have a lot of hits spread out So what we have, uh, what we have in the experimental version right now is floating velocity groups. So instead, when we have a hit at 50 midi velocity, we would like, instead of having these fixed groups, one, two, three, four, or more as we had before, we would like the groups to follow the hit. So if we have a hit at 50, we would like it to choose from the nearest samples and create sort of a floating velocity group around it. So if you have a hit of 50, it, would not, it will now choose from one, two, three, four, five, from one of six samples within this group right here. And the group is defined by the media velocity. So if we have a media velocity at 30, suddenly the group will also move with the hit, like so. So it moves like this. So now the group is defined around 30 instead, having one, two, three, four to choose from. So let me play a sample of that so you can hear how that sounds. As you can hear, we uh, completely removed the stair, walking upstairs effect that we had before. Let me just play the two samples one after the other first. The one with the staircase effect and then with the uh, floating velocity group concept in place where we do not have the staircase effect.
what we have here on the left side is the fixed velocity groups concept and as you can see it is quite clear that we have the staircase effect that I mentioned. This is whenever we reach a new group we have this kind of a step up in velocity because it uses from the same pool of samples in that group as I mentioned earlier. As you can see in the floating velocity groups concept that is not at all apparent. We have a much smoother sweep from 0 to 127. So this will without doubt give us a much more humanized sounding drum gizmo when we release it. We plan on releasing an experimental version sometime soon. We want to get this out there as soon as possible to get you guys to check it out and test it. So I hope you enjoyed this small demonstration of the Velocity Group's concept in Drum Gizmo. If you need more info on Drum Gizmo, please visit drumgizmo.org. Or if you have any questions, feel free to join us on IRC, the free node network on hash Drum Gizmo. Thank you for watching.